there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to look at Lone Star playing cards from Pure Imagination Projects and designer Jonathan Schubert of the Schubert Studio. As a native Texan, I was super excited to get a hold of a deck inspired by the one and only Lone Star State, so let's jump right into it. And starting with the tuck case, it's a regular brown cardboard tuck case, but the texturing here is one of the most unique aspects of this or really any tuck case that I've ever seen. Uh, it's just regular letterpress tuck case, but the texturing that was achieved is meant to look and feel like natural leather. So here's a nice close zoomed in look at it, and you can see how those ridges come together to just form that really leathery texture. It's a very cool effect, and with the natural brown color of the tuck itself, it's just a really unique feel to this entire tuck. The rest of it's given a really vintage look. Uh, almost like pen and ink drawings throughout or sketches. You've got the uh, mounted cowboy here holding the banner with Lone Star, the name of the deck written on it. And then the bottom, kind of an unofficial motto, if you will, of the deck. It says, playing cards from the land of Texas for those who wander way out yonder. On the sides, you've got 52 playing cards and big bold letters on one side. And then on the other, that motto again, playing cards from the land of Texas. The bottom has your ad copy for Pure Imagination Projects and the Schubert Studio, complete with a little bit of a typo, a misspelled name there, kind of reverse the C and the H. And then at the top, again, bold letters, Lone Star Deck. The back has a design that's not the back design of the cards, just a really small circle logo here in the center uh, that features what might be a scene from somewhere in the plains of Texas. Uh, you've got those plains stretching out with the uh, mountains and the sunset in the distance, and then a single split eagle feather across the center. That eagle feather may be symbolizing freedom or travel through Texas, something like that. Uh, no printing on the interior flaps, just a little bit more of that leathery texture, and plain brown on the interior of the tuck. So that's it. That is the tuck case. Very clean and then made unique by that leather texture. Let's get into the cards. And here's the back design. This was a little bit of a surprise, just coming from that monochrome tuck case to have this explosion of color on the back design. Of course, features the lone star there in the center, symbol of Texas, and then has this pinwheel effect with just an explosion of different colors. You've got the red, white, and the blue shades from the Texas flag, as well as a little bit of beige mixed in there and just forms this beautiful spiral effect and one that looks good as you spin the card or if you use this in fans as well. It is a strong one-way back design. Uh, you can see right away that those swirls are not symmetrical top to bottom. So it's definitely a one-way back design, but a really beautiful and striking one. And I personally like the contrast a lot compared to the simplicity of the rest of the deck. Uh, so no border at all on this one. There's a borderless design and love the use of color there. Uh, now turning to the cards, and we'll start with extra cards. You get two jokers. Uh, both of them feature solitary figures just standing in the center, drawn in black and white. Beautiful art sketched on here. Uh, one of them is a frontiersman standing there with his rifle in his hand. Uh, standing out in the middle of the grass there, has Joker, Joker in the corners. And the other one pays homage to Texans' um, Mexican heritage. Uh, so you've got a uh, man there standing with his sombrero. So obviously it kind of ties back to Mexico as well. So really nice artwork on these. Very simple, very clean Jokers. Uh, you also get an ad card. Again, features uh, a little bit of a saying here. So you've got Want, you know, wander in wonder or the wild blue yonder. We walk a land without end from green meadows to the bend. And then a beautiful scene of the plains of Texas kind of highlighting some of the different, uh, you know, different types of land that you'll find, you know, from plains and deserts to mountains in the distance. Kind of a beautiful, simplistic uh, line drawing there. You also get one gaff card, a double backer. So getting a double look at that beautiful back design. And then you get into the deck, and there's really only one custom card in the deck, and it's the Ace of Spades. Uh, features a very simple retro-styled uh, spade pip there in the center, and has that buffalo standing in the middle. Buffalo, of course, roamed the plains of Texas and beyond 
uh, through, you know, into the, probably into the 1800s. Uh, you do have a slightly different spade and pip. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second, but you do have a slightly custom and much smaller uh, spade, pip, and index in the corner. And then under the spade just says Lone Star. And you'll see here that spade, pip, and index is different from the rest of the deck because the rest of the deck is completely bicycle standard. I think it's a little bit of an odd choice to do a different uh, pip and index on the Ace of Spades. I know it's the one custom card, but I wish they'd kept the pip and index the same. Now, you may notice right away that the deck is not in new deck order. This is actually how it comes out of the box. Uh, this is in Mnemonica stack order, made famous by Juan Tamarez. Uh, this stack is sort of a really popular, trendy one for decks to come in these days, uh, and it's used pretty heavily for magic. Uh, and I think the idea is you cut to a certain point in the deck remember exactly where I think you cut to the four diamonds. I may be wrong on that, but you cut to a certain point and now the deck's going to be in a known deck order and one that you can use for different mentalism tricks and things like that. Uh, so that pretty much is all I can say about the deck. Like I said, the rest of this is going to be completely bicycle standard. So you've got the bicycle standard quartz, uh, nothing else custom anywhere in the rest of the deck. Uh, so keeps it a really functional deck if you want to make use of this deck in the future. Really just that one custom card. Uh, as far as handling, there's no mention of where this deck is printed. I'm assuming from the way it handles, uh, it feels a lot like a USPCC deck, a uh, bicycle deck. Uh, handles and feels very much like one. Combine that with the bicycle standard course. I'm assuming it's a USPCC printed deck. Uh, but you can see there in the fans just those beautiful explosions of color. And because it is a one-way back design, you'll get different looks depending on how and where you fan this from. If I could do a left-handed fan, I'd show you some of those as well. Uh, but yeah, you get kind of different effects depending on how you fan this. Uh, it does handle really beautifully. No complaints at all on the handling at, you know, to speak of. So that's it. That is the look at the Lone Star deck. Uh, I think it's a great very functional deck one that would make you know for something really unique for magic or gameplay for sure uh definitely borderless back designs can kind of limit some of the use in magic and that one way back design uh but you could absolutely with those really familiar faces make use of this for magic or gameplay uh and with those borderless back designs i think you know cardistry and fan work i think is going to really show up nicely with this one Although I will say that the standard face is not typically what you'd see in what's strictly a cardistry deck. So it kind of has elements that would make this good for pretty much whatever you want to use it for. Uh, but I think that gameplay is really where this one's going to make its mark. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this look at the Lone Star playing cards. Uh, I definitely enjoyed this deck. Glad to pick this one up. Like some of the unique touches uh, in a really simple and classic deck. Uh, that's it for now. Subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings, and I'll see you for the next one.